coming across the Iron Bridge, Gordon Egg Valley Road. After the bridge, it takes a turn to the right. And on the right of us is the creek that we are interested in. So this is the Magna Cove uh, pyrite area. And location has been well known for many years. Uh, you're not supposed to dig in the hillside or on the on the ground here, but inside the creek, you go in and you have people digging down into the creek bedrock about three to four feet down and getting as much pyrite as they can. And the pyrite is going to be mixed with the albite bedrock um, in a small section over here. And there's going to be a section where there's more smoky quartz and, and less pyrite and they're all right in the same spot. So we're going to try to look at those areas, um, see if anyone has a hole that they've been working on. It's been a overworked area. It's, got, it's not going to last forever. Now the easiest thing to do is just to come look through tailings of what people have already dug out of the bedrock and that's going to be just in, in the creek bed itself. You can dig it shovelfuls of rock. Eventually you're going to find bits of pyrite in there. Also you could find little crystals of brookite, uh, smoky quartz, and those are the main minerals you'll find here. Now the pyrite, <clears throat> pyrite crystals might be coated <clears throat> in a thin layer of molybdenum, if I'm pronouncing that right, and it makes it look like the pyrite is uh, lead or galena crystals, but is pyrite coated with a thin layer and that's if you're lucky to see crystal faces of pyrite uh, people dig in the bedrock because they could maybe find those crystal faces um, if you see the golden pyrite then you know it's been fractured probably behind me is the main creek area uh, over there on that wall and that's different now it was uh Something's changed about that wall, I don't know, but I know people were digging down in the side of the bank, digging deep in the water, so it's technically in the Ritter river, um, and finding the smoky quartz over there. On that side, pyrite is more found there, and that's where um, a lot of the bedrock digging was, and probably over here too. I'm curious about the smoky quartz area over there. There's a lot of uh, probably what used to be the hillside is now in the river and the river protrudes down to even more uh, smoky quartz. So and that that's kind of the interesting spot. You want to find min mineral combos, you want to find good smoky tiny smoky quartz crystals with pyrite, preferably cubes of pyrite, uh, finding little triangular brookite uh, crystals it's, and it's very much confused to the smoky quartz because of the color and size. Let's go get wet. I've been to this place many times. Uh, well, probably like 10 or less than 10. Uh, I doubt that I'm going to find what I would really want to find, um, but I will show some pictures I will show some videos after this of some of the finds I've had, or maybe right now. Maybe not. Okay, so this is uh, where they've dug underneath the creek bed, and obviously that's a dangerous thing. You don't want um, collapsing to happen, but it's not, it's not as bad as I've seen before. So why I haven't talked about yet is tools to bring, okay? So I haven't used safety glasses here as much. Uh, you could if you're chipping into rocks. Uh, I still use gloves. This might come in handy, I don't know. 
the shovel if you're digging down into the bedrock and breaking it up you'll need a shovel or two or three people or somebody else to have dug the hole like I did one time and just come in after they dug it uh, let's see what else I like I like to bring these screens these uh, kitchen strainers that I got out of Walmart you dump the uh, shovel full in here that you get from the creek bottom and you look through for the big, better pieces of pyrite, brookite, smoky quartz, um, small, smaller tools hand, are handy on occasion. Um, you also, if you're digging into the bedrock, you want a big rock bar and then a fence post driver. Uh, find a good partner maybe to help you dig a hole and see if you can find one that still has the bedrock. It takes a lot of digging, so you dig one entry, walking into the hole is coming from upriver, one from downriver. That way you don't knock the walls in all the time when you're coming in the hole. And then you keep having to shovel out the same thing you've already shoveled out. And let's just see if we can find anything. So I'm going down here. It's actually pretty deep going back in that way. Um, so there must be something good there. Um, it's really hard to get good smoky quartz crystals. Let's just sample what's dropped to the bottom as they've been digging. And I should have brought my longer shovel, which is in the car. All right, do you see that? All right, I'm going to dump it, and then we're going to take a look. It's pretty muddy, so I'm going to get the mud out. Okay, let's see, there's a little bit of pyrite there, some crystals on a host matrix, but that's minimal compared to what you would find here. So you, there's still a lot of pyrite that's coming off in that section. And I can see on the, here's a little, here we go, focus, camera focus. There's a little smoky quartz crystal right there going up my nose. Excited to see a little smoky quartz crystal. So I might just keep shoveling there for a while. Let's see what happens and I'll be back later. There were a lot of little smoky quartz crystals so far. Some of them would be a nice jewelry grade too. What I recommend is come to these tailings areas where people dump and you can find maybe a lot of them. Um, let's see if I can find any on the spot. That's kind of one, but I've seen just a few just sitting there, like this one, you can see the tip, and uh, they're all over where people have dumped their tailings, so. This is a larger piece of pyrite chunk that I got out of that place with the smoky quartz, so you can still get a good sized pyrite. Um, obviously pyrite oxidizes in water, so it gets a more of a rusty look. Um, that's why people like to dig into the bedrock, you get something that looks a little more fresh. The first time I came and I just went and saw some tailings of pyrite and I, I just had such a feeling of accomplishment finding these minerals for real and um, 
finding the right location. I mean, it just felt so good. And back when I found this spot, I, I think it was just on Rock Counting in Arkansas, uh, the website, and there were other locations that I was able to find through that website. Okay, in this spot, I think I found a place I like to dig um, up what what is uh, left on the bottom. So to save me time, I'm gonna put it in the bucket, take it home, do the rest of the work. Um, you know, take it home, spray it off on the screen. And let me show you a few other places here. Okay, we're walking over here along the shore that's an area where there's um, the rock matrix looks like a lot of it is smoky quartz. Not crystals, but just quartz with a dark color. In this area, right where I'm standing, is where a lot of the pyrite has been dug. So I, I expect most of the bedrock has been dug about three or four feet down. I'm not going to be able to show this interesting bedrock over here. It's really soft, but it looks hard. Um, I can't remember exactly what it's made out of, but it's under this tree right here. And that soft bedrock has kind of a soapy feeling to it. Actually, it might be right here. I don't know if you can see here in the water. Here, while it's clear, that is some of that bedrock. I see tailings up in this area too. I know people have dug up this way. So, I don't know how far the pyrite goes. Always more to explore here, it feels like. Okay, I'm gonna dig out a sample of what I'm pulling out so you can see. You... From the surface, this looks like many other places in Arkansas, but uh, what's below the surface, that's what matters. I'm gonna dump it over here in my strainers. I already see a really interesting one. Actually more interesting than the other stuff I've seen so far. Before I put it in my bucket, I take out the big rocks. Better than anything. You can also can find a lot of uh, Novaculite around here, which is for sharpening knives. But I'm going to straighten it out too, but maybe you can see the shiny pyrite. Maybe not. Pyrite is hard to photograph. It looks different in person for sure. But if I strain out a little bit, I would have recommend doing it right where you're digging because it's going to go back right where you are. Then I can sift through it a little bit better. And I'm also going to dump it into my bucket. So. Okay, here's the other one and got a lot of leaves in there. Get out some rocks. Big rocks. Now this one is uh, dark. It's made up of mostly smoky quartz, but hard to see any crystals. They don't crystallize very well in Magna Cove.
This is a little plate of smoky quartz. Very small plate, but if it were to clean out, which they are coated in some molybdenite or molybdenum, and it's very rough and hard to get out. Hello everyone, now we're home. I've cleaned nothing, and this is just what I had gathered yesterday. I put um, just some certain pieces in here. Um, this just example of the cubic pyrite that you can find. You see the crystal faces, and yes, this did come from yesterday. Here's a bucket full of what was left over in the creek bed. It, Probably a lot of it was just tailings that had uh, washed back down into the the holes that were made before me. And there's a lot to look through. Probably, mostly I'll find some tiny smoky quartz points in here. But it goes all the way through. It's all this gold color, you know. Uh... You know, it's incredible. This lo that location is amazing. So this is uh, some of the bigger chunks, you know. Some of the cleaved off pyrite is uh, really nice and flashy. Some of these are weightier than others. This is a very big piece. Most of it is pyrite. They're brittle, they fracture a lot. They're fairly stable, but they'll continue to fracture. Look at that edge there. It's really amazing. This um, has a lot of pyrite, but I think it's on a host rock. Everything in that creek was is crumbly. This is what the smoky quartz forms on this very weak matrix, you see pyrite. This is before it cracks up and makes smaller pieces. And the uh, smaller pieces I kept put in here. And I'll try to clean these. It's very hard to clean off the clay looking material on them. You'll probably have to pick the best pieces and maybe spend some time with a dental pick scraping slowly until you expose the crystals not something you want to do on more than one or two pieces here's another piece with some pyrite there's a little, nice little twinned pyrite cube here really interesting you can find a lot of these too but it's you know, it takes a little time to search and find them. And then you have these little quartz points. You have these little quartz points. Hard to see. This is a very nice little point. See, this is one of my favorite. This is one of my favorite little pieces. It kind of looks like those are pyrite crystals. It's just the uh, color is because of it being coated with uh, molybd molybdenum. <clears throat> Hard to say that word. So I have sorted more and found some nice shiny pyrite and also a little brookite on this one over here little quartz points just a variety a little bit of variety of everything
These are some of my big finds from the past. I want to call them all stable. They might break apart, but they're pretty good. I've washed them off. These are really big chunks. These were acquired from the um, technique of using the big rock bar and the fence post driver directly into the creek bed to break apart the the bedrock. Look at this. This is an amazing, amazing crystal cluster that you can find there. Very special location. Please preserve this location. Pick up your trash. Be respectful. Don't dig into the creek bank. Don't dig on the land. Encourage others to do the other. Uh, Encourage others to do the same, to be respectful. This is pyrite cubes and albite. I didn't find a lot of albite yesterday, but this is another remarkable cube pyrite on albite. You can see the albite crystal shapes too. Some of them are imprints from where pyrite crystals were. Albite is a form of feldspar. There's some of that really hard to get off clay looking stuff. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you learned something. It's a nice place to try out. It's an amazing location that we have here in Arkansas. Uh, finding pyrite is not something you can go find every day. And this is uh, just a lot of pyrite. I recommend just digging in the creek, um, shoveling up what's down there, looking through people's tailings. I do not recommend digging in the bank. And make sure that you don't drink the water, your pets don't drink the water. Uh, the pyrite when it oxidizes does not have a healthy solution for you to drink and there's also some radiation in the area so please be careful and please pay attention to where you are being respectful at all times and encouraging others to do also this has been scott from finding rocks